Well, and it, it kind of goes back to sports. And right now I'm really missing sports. So I'll use this now. I think we all are. But I know we, we, we could debate at a different time if Wilt Chamberlain was better than Michael Jordan. No, we don't have to debate that. So I'll let you win this, but I'll just use this example right now. Yeah, but um, go ahead. But like the last dance. Probably let's put him in the top two or three best players in the world. Chicago yeah. will always fight. Yeah. He's number one. And Philly would probably fight that Wilt's number one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But when you looked at Jordan, who's probably the best player to ever play, and you looked at – Michael Jordan never score 100 points in a game? No, because no, – Wilt did. Oh, sorry, that Wilt did. Wait, they, wait, they didn't did have Michael, seven wait a minute. Did Michael Jordan ever pull down 55 rebounds in a game? Oh, no, no, wait, that was Wilt. Did Michael Jordan ever average 50 points a game for a season? Oh, no, 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 no. That was, that was Wilt again. Did they widen the foul lanes for Michael Jordan or Wilt Chamberlain? So, Not only was he the best player that ever lived, he changed the rules of the game. I'm just saying. So I'm not going to debate that. You got a lot of great points. Okay. Thank you for example. But when you look at the last dance, some of the things that I take away from leaders and sales professionals, mm -hmm. when the Pistons kind of beat him up, what did he do? He didn't cry. He said, Summer, everybody get to the weight room. Everyone, if you watch the last dance, we're all going there for four or five months because next year we will not get beat up. We will not lose physically. So, and then Orlando Magic, I'll never forget it. That's when he came back out of retirement mm -hmm. he got beat by Shaq and Penny. And it was very interesting because Jordan would always take off two or three months in golf and do other things when he was winning his rings. And he had zero to prove at this time in his career. And his trainer came to him after the game. And you're talking about the best player on the planet at that time who already had three, four rings. He had zero to prove. And the trainer asked him the night after they lost, I'll see you in a couple months so we can start training again for next year. And Jordan looked at him and he said, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah. And when you look at that, I mean, that's really what's going on right now is the people that are reinventing saying, I'm showing up tomorrow morning. I'm going to get better tomorrow. I'm not going to wait for two months for the storm to go away. I'm in it now. And we know this. He was playing baseball. He was doing other things. His body was not right. And he said, okay, I'm not going to take the risk or the chance next year to not thrive. And I think what we're all doing right now is we're preparing for fourth quarter 2021. We know it's going to be a little shaky the next two months and it's going to be hard, but we got to start the preparation now today and get into that weight room and do the things we need to do to thrive. Cause when the sun comes out, that's who's going to thrive. <laughs>